Some games need a bit of hyping. Some games speak for themselves. The Reds and the Western Force Saturday night at Suncorp Stadium is one of those games. Fox Sports 2 from 7.30 Eastern Summertime, 6.30 in Brisbane. The Force are chasing four in a row for the first time and they were the last team to beat the Reds at Suncorp. Week 5 last year, Will Guinea says it's the toughest local derby the Reds have faced this season. Here is Will with Marto. Well, Will, three from six at this stage. How does that match up with the Reds' pre-season expectations? Yeah, I think we're happy. I mean, um, we've obviously got a run of home games now, which is always good for us. We seem to play well when we're here at home. So uh, three from six is a good, good position to be in now that we're back home. Home ground advantage has always been a reality, but this year more so than ever. Historically high uh, records of teams at home winning. Can you explain why? I think the guys just love playing at Sungall. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful stadium. We've got uh, great supporters. You know, I think the first couple of home, home games we've played here, we've had over 30,000 supporters. So it's just a great place to play, great atmosphere. And, uh, yeah, we've made a habit of winning at home. Will, your name is always at the forefront of opposition teams' discussions. How do you combat that each week? Uh, I just try to mix up my game. I mean, I've, everyone seems to talk about wanting me to run the ball all the time and, and this and that, and, um, but you can't, you know. When, when you're, for example, playing the Sharks when we were over in Durban, you know, every, time, every single time I touch the ball, I think I heard my name called out two or three times. So sides are obviously going to mark up that area very closely, and it's just about mixing your game up between, you know, pass, pass, occasionally have a run, then, you know, look to, to kick as well to take some pressure off Quaid and guys like Mikey Harris. But... Um, yeah, I think it's just having that variety in your game so that you're not, you know, so predictable all the time. Um, as I said, I think there's just a perception out there that everyone wants me to run the ball every single time. But, you know, you've got to pick and choose your moments. And, um, you know, I, that's something that I pride myself on is you make the right decisions as opposed to just doing things for the sake of doing things. And um, as I said, it's about variety. And, uh, yeah, I, I back myself to make the, the right decisions at the right time. And Guinea up the middle. I feel like I'm playing well. Um, I feel like I've started off the season well, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm working hard, I'm enjoying my rugby, and I think, I think I'm playing well, but I think the most important thing for me is that I'm having fun. You know, I'm playing with a smile on my face, really enjoying my time, and, uh, yeah, more often than not, that's the most important thing for me. Yeah, you know, your last contract opportunity, you had a brief thought about going to the force and then had a turnaround. Do you ever think, gee, I could have been playing for him? Do you reflect? It's a funny one. I always do sometimes. I always do. I mean, I say always do sometimes. I always do whenever I see them playing, thinking about being in the blue as opposed to being in the red. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm happy that I stayed in the red. Hey, can I ask these guys, the Western Force, they beat you last year at Suncorp. In fact, the last team to beat you here, they, there was a draw as well. Why do they give you so much trouble? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe having a chat to Richard, I think he said that it's just a game that uh, traditionally they're always just up for. You know, I think early on, um, the, the, obviously the whole story behind them taking players from Queensland and the guys went over there with a chip on their shoulder because they couldn't get an opportunity here. So it's a game that mentally they always seem to get up for. And anytime you play your cross-conference you know, cross conference rivals, it always is a grudge match because you want to finish on top of your conference for bragging rights, but also to get a leg up in the final series. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a tough game, mate, and uh, we're, we're definitely treating it that way. <laughs>